Good evening everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make drop logo animation. First, of all we need to import the archives. We grab the files, and we pull them over to the icon. We give the name of your choice. We create a new composition, we give a name, and we set the dimensions to full HD, and 5 seconds. Let's choose the background, from the folder, and put it in the composition we created. By pressing shift, we resize the background. With the background selected, go to effects and presets, and write a curve. We select it, and we pull it over in the background. Go to the curve, and make the background darker. We create an adjustment layer, we press enter, and we give a name. We go to effects and presets, and write exposure. Select it, and drag it over to the adjustment layer. Go to the tools, and select ellipse, double click to create a mask. Go to exposure settings, and change the offset. Then go to the mask settings and click on the inverted. We open up the mask settings, and we grow the feather. We make a new composition, we give a name. Go to the project panel, select the background, and drag it to the new composition. Now we will make a logo. We go to the tools, and we choose the rectangle, we choose a color. Holding the shift, we make a square. We go to the align panel, and we bring it right in the middle of the composition. We go to the tools, and we select a text tool, we write a text. We go to the character panel and we change the settings we want. We select the square in the text, we go to the align panel, and we bring them exactly in the middle. Right click, and we select pre-comp, and we give a name. Double click the logo comp. Right click, and we select pre-comp, and we give a name. Double click to open the composition. We're going to put rules, round the logo. Let's go to the drop logo composition. We select the logo composition, and we select the 3D layer, go in one second. Press P, to open the position, we put a keyframe. Go 12 tenths, and change the Z position. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Maybe we change the second keyframe, to make it faster. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. Go to the graphic editor, select edit speed graph, select the left keyframe, and move it to the right to make it faster.
press the space to make a RAM preview. With the logo selected, let's edit, and duplicate or control D. Press enter, and we change the name to shadow. And we put it under the logo. Go effects and presets, and we write fill, we select it and we put it over shadow. Go effects and presets, and write CC radial fast blur, select it and put it above in shadow. Go effects control, they select the center anchor point, and we get a point. We change the amount. And the color of the fill, from red to black. Press the space to make a RAM preview. We go and apply motion blur, logos, and shadow. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Where the movement ends, and we put a marker. Layer, Add Maker. Go to the logo composition and create a new adjustment layer. Press enter and change the name to wave. Go to effects and presets and write turbulent displace. Select it and put it above the wave. We go where the animation ends and we put a keyframe in the amount and in the size. We get some keyframe back and the amount in size, we make it zero. Select the wave, and press U, to open the keyframes. We get some keyframes in front, and the amount in the size, we make zero. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. We go to the drop logo composition, and we see what we were doing. We go back to the logo composition, select the wave, and press U, to open the keyframes. And we move the keyframes to the left. Go back drop logo composition, press the space to make a RAM preview. We make a new folder, and we call it comp and we pull all the compositions in there, so they are all assembled in one place. Open the footage folder, and select explosion, and put it under shadow. Go to man, and change from normal to add. We grab it and pull it out, exactly where we want it. Press N, to cut the work area. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Go to the footage folder and select the particle dust and put it above the logo. Go to man and change to normal to add. We press T, open opacity, we do zero and we put a keyframe. We go where the animation ends, we still put a keyframe. We go some keyframe, and we do it 100%. Press the space to make a RAM preview.
We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. We create a camera. And activate 3D in all layers. Select the camera and press P, to show the position, put a keyframe. Move a few keyframes to the right and change the Z position. We have a problem, we need to increase them a little. By pressing shift, we select one of the layers, and we increase them a little. Press the space to make a RAM preview. We select all keyframes, right-click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. We create a new adjustment layer. We change the name to shake. We go to effects and presets, we write wiggle. We select the wiggle position, and we put them over the shake. We get where the animation ends. And we put a keyframe at wiggle speed, and at the wiggle amount, we get some keyframes in front. And we press U to show the keyframes. And we do it zero. Then we go back to some keyframe and we do it again zero. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Maybe we change the keyframes a bit, to be exact. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant. Easy Ease or F9. We select the text tools, and we write whatever we want. We go to the character panel, and we make it the way we want it. We select the text we go to the align panel, and we bring it to the waist, in order to customize with the logo. We go to effects and presets, and we write fade. We select the fade up characters, and we put it above the text. We select the text, we press U, the keyframe show. We add a 3D layer to the text. The second keyframe, we move it to the left to make the animation faster. 
press the space to make a RAM preview. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. We create a new adjustment layer. Change the name to camera lens. Go to effects and presets, and write camera lens blur. Select it, and put it above the camera lens. We go into camera lens blur settings, and we put a keyframe. We put some keyframe in front and we do zero. And we press U to show the keyframes. The same and backwards. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Now we have to put sound effects on, open boombox I will give you the link to the description to download it, just like sound effects free, we choose what we want. We press the cross and insert it. We press L, STO sound FX. Where it ends animation we put a keyframe on and a few keyframes on the right lower the volume. And we're ready. Press the space to make a RAM preview. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. We go to the project panel, import files and we select the logo we want. And we click OK. We go to the logo composition. and we insert the logo. We press S, to open the scale and resize. Thanks for watching me, if you liked my video subscribe to my channel, bye.